Hey friends, it's Emily Curl, and tonight we're going backstage with Tennille Towns at the Gramercy Theater here in New York City, and I want you to come along with me. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? How are you doing? Can we come in? Come on oh, in. Thank you so much for having us. This is the dressing room. This is a great space. Thank and you. now I feel like you really set the mood in here. Did you guys bring a lot of this stuff? Was it in the yeah, room? Yeah, this is our vibe. You know, we like to make all the different dressing rooms kind of feel like home in yeah. a way. There's like, oh, this is my space today. So we bring all the Christmas lights because they're great all year round. And then Can these tapestries are ours. And we have this little Canada cape that I randomly got. The Canada cape, is it good luck? Is this I, a good it, luck it's charm? It's a little superstitious. Like we always have to have it up in the dressing room. It's yeah. gotta be there. Okay, so it's Neil. We're here at the Gramercy Theater yes. in New York City. So I love New York so much and I always love to get to play here. What is a show like in New York City compared to other, other cities? There's always like a little magic around New York City. Like the fans are always amazing. And this show I feel like has been a long time coming for you. We've been waiting so long for this moment. I was messaging a couple of you guys this morning on Instagram, it's like May of 2020, I think, was when we were supposed to first have the show. I just do not consider it anything less than incredible that you guys have kept these tickets and showed up tonight and just brought so much love in this room. Thank you for being here, New York. This is ready. We're ready to go. We've what? never been so ready. What can we expect <laughs> from you on that stage tonight? We're just going to take everybody on a ride with us. Anytime we play a show, it's like you walk through those doors and you can just show up and be who you are. We can come together as a community and come together through the songs. So it'll be hopefully a bit of an emotional ride. There'll be moments where we feel like we're just hanging out in the living room and then there'll be some rock and roll moments Ooh. where we just kind of <laughs> let go a little bit and give everybody a good time. So, And I have to ask you about these boots because I saw them earlier. Oh, thank they you. They are next level. Yeah, these are my stomping around boots. Yours are cool too. I really like those. But no, 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 not as good as these. I need some <laughs> crocodile like <laughs> That's what I want. Thank you. What is your hope for country music for women specifically, you know, in the next year, in the next five years? I mean, that people's stories just keep being heard, you know, and that we can just kind of keep lifting everybody's voices up. Do you have any pre-show rituals, pre-show traditions you do before you go on stage? Warm up our voices, talk through the set list, make sure we're all on the same page. And then we have our pre-show huddle, which is very strange. What like, happens in the huddle? We say a little prayer and then we put our hands in and we do this chant, something to do with Tim Hortons that came randomly at our first arena show we ever played. Can I ask what the chant is? Yeah, it's it's Horton Holes, which is like a nickname for Timbits. Don't tell Tim Hortons that we call it that. That's what we chant. We just say Horton Holes and we do it four times and we cheer. <laughs> then we all say, have a good show. That's <laughs> See you later. Go. Yeah. For all your fans watching, if you could send one message to them right now, what would it be? Mm, keep being you, because you're awesome. It's not another one of you, you know? But yeah, we love to bring the vibe with us wherever we go and make it feel like home. All right, it's time for the show. Let's go.